Hi. Oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I used to I used to record my videos like this, and everyone fucking hated it. So, got to do it like that. It's just something you learn while well, being a YouTuber <laughs> like I am. But uh, I want to talk about something serious, and that's about depression. Now, if you know me close enough, you know I suffer from this. You know, I, I, I manage as best I can, but some days it can get bad, and I know how bad it can get. I know how low someone who's battling depression, I, I know how low they can get. And that's why I get especially fucking angry when I see people try to use depression and act like they're depressed just for fucking attention. It's ridiculous. Depression is not something to be glorified. Let me tell you, let me tell you what happens when you glorify depression. You fall in love with the idea that you're sad. You, 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 it's all you can think of until eventually you're starting to fantasize about your death. You're thinking about, oh, how would this person respond to my death? I know because I've went through that. And eventually you go down that road and you fucking kill yourself. And it all started, it all started with that glorification. Depression and suicide is nothing to be glorified. It's nothing to be made positive. Someone killing themselves isn't, it's not an angel going home. I get the thought process and I get it. You're trying to, you're trying to, you know, bring light to a bad situation, but no. Suicide is not that. Suicide is a tragedy. Suicide is the ending of a life prematurely. Suicide is preventable. And it is not something to be glorified. It is not something that you pretend to have. Ever. Let me tell you, if I catch you pretending to be depressed just for like brownie points or for attention, I'm cutting you out of my life. For good. Because that is an insult to me. That is an insult to every single person battling depression. And that is an insult to everyone who has ever killed themselves because of that. You devalue people coming out with depression. I remember when I came out with, with that I had depression. I know I act like I'm, you know, like I'm coming out as gay. But sometimes it can feel like that. People. People. Be like, no, you're not. Just stop joking, man. If I didn't have the strength to just be like, yeah, I fucking have it. Like, I, I have depression. I, I'm, I'm not okay. Like, yeah, while at school, I can make the jokes, ha, ha, ha. I can make people laugh. But that's just a fucking defense mechanism. And that all comes from the stigma that depression has. Someone comes out with depression, especially like teenage girls. Teenage girls, like, I would bet that's the demographic of people that have the most depression. Like, I don't have any studies to back that up, but that's what I would assume. And, and I feel like a lot of teenagers, you know, have depression. And people just assume they're looking for attention because of that small minority that do use depression as an attention, you know, thing. And this fucking, this goes for any mental illness that you're pretending to have. Like, you see this fucking bullshit on TikTok. I don't have TikTok, but I scroll Instagram a lot. And, you know, it's basically, Instagram's basically where you get a bunch of different shit from different sites and put it all into one place. Same with Reddit, but Reddit's kind of more cringe. <laughs> but it's got better content, so whatever. Anyway. Uh, you'll see people pretending to have Tourette's, and it's fucking cringe. Like, it, it's horrible. Like, Tourette's is, it's, it's, it sucks. You know? I don't even have it, and I know it sucks. You know? 
Like, imagine trying to have a fucking conversation every two seconds. You go, the fuck! You know? Shit like that. Or if it's actually way more serious, you actually hurt yourself. It's not something... It, it's, an, it's an insult, basically. And... Like, people that joke about mental illness... You know, I joke about it sometimes. Thing is, you have to have class... You know, I, I believe everything can be joked about, personally. As long as you're not doing it just to fucking get a reaction out of somebody. Like, you know, just screaming at a black person the N-word. That's not humor. That, that's just not. You know, that's just, fu that's just stupid. You know, that, that's just retarded. <laughs> you know? But making a, you know, racial joke, you know, sometimes it's fucked. But sometimes it's fucked, but you feel guilty for laughing at it. And, and, and you know, I'm not going to fucking feel bad for saying that because I know a shit ton. I'm just saying what a shit ton of you are thinking, all right? Basically, what I'm saying is don't be racist. One, don't be racist. This, this took a weird turn. Uh, don't be sexist and don't pretend to have mental illnesses and don't joke about mental illnesses just at the expense of people with mental illnesses you know anyway i, I just wanted to get on the soapbox here because <laughs> i'm just sick and tired of it you know people people suck basically the older and older I get, the more jaded I am with people. You know, I don't like I don't like most people. But you people that I do like, you people that I tolerate, you know who you are. Yeah. Every single one of you subscribers, except for the ones that are cunts. No, I don't like you guys. You decide which one y'all are. Nah, but... Uh, have a good night. I'm gonna go to bed. I took my medicine not too long ago, so...